Better? Better? I can make four or move sideways a bit. All right. Bring her off. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I think we got it together. Are we ready to start? I think so. We're an hour after I said we would start. My apologies for that. It's all good. Happy Thursday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. Aren't you going to say hello? Hi. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> hello, everyone. <laughs> My name's Caroline. I'm Carrie. I'm the owner of Evertote, and I am the owner and dyer behind Broxy Floss. And we are recording here at the Evertote Roxy Floss Co. workshop in London, Ontario, Canada, on Thursday, November 23rd, 2023. I think we got it all. I think so. So I showed this last week, but I'm showing it again. I go. had a massive finish last week. It's all pressed up and everything. It is trimmed. And press. Love it. Ta da! It's Friendship done. Sampler, small version by our friend Ellen of Maximum Cross Stitch Power Hour, MaximumCrossStitch.com. And it is done. All. And it's a beaut. Done. Yeah, isn't it good? It is. It's really good. Hmm. <laughs> I know. The pups. I know. So I put my two. My two heart dogs are on here. There's Luna, right there. And there's Daria, who was my dog before Luna. Yeah, my best friends. Oh, and I, Roxy's on here too. Is she? Yeah. Aw, see? Cute. Yeah, little Roxy. <laughs> I know. <sighs> So yeah, ta-da! I know, I was so pleased that I finished that. It was a, that was a really good one to finish. How have you nice. been? How has your two weeks been? Good, yeah? Yeah. Have you been doing lots of stitching? Um, lots of knitting? Well, I think last week, it's just all a blur. Yeah. Last week I was house-sitting my grand shots. <laughs> our youngest daughter's cats they went to Mexico so I was house sitting so I didn't get a lot of stitching done there but I did get a lot of knitting done and then since coming back home started getting a lot of stitching done but we've had company as well so you've had very important company yeah so our oldest and Cedar our grandson yeah so it's been very nice I'll insert Carrie's gonna mm -hmm. let me share a picture with you of her grandson he is beautiful he's nine months now and just he's like a bloody toddler he's so Aww. big he's so big <laughs> dad's big so tall so yeah this kid's gonna be huge yeah just a good one concern he's lovely Thanks. well that was really nice that you got to spend some time with them yeah they're here for another week oh are they yeah. that's nice mm -hmm. they change so fast at that age it's nice yeah to... like we're trying to see him every eight to twelve weeks and just huge changes yeah like it's too long to go yeah but they live quite far away so they do it's yeah. tricky right yeah um i actually have been doing a lot of stitching excellent um i'm gonna share my misfortune with you first <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. yeah so i was inspired by carrie's stitching of her turkish delight rosewood manor so i got out my buckleberry sampler i don't yeah i do have the chart here i still so, don't really understand what how it's going off the rails oh yeah but yeah, we will find way. out. So this is the chart. This is the Rosewood Manor that I'm working on. And it's beautiful. This it's has gorgeous. been on my to stitch list since it came out back in 2014. Wow. I have had this in my stash for years. I absolutely love this chart. And so, of course, I am uh, stitching it on uh, porcelain Roxy Flosco linen with a uh, conversion that Hannah did. And I love the flosses. Like the flosses are amazing. Um, and my stitching is amazing. It's beautiful. So here's where I'm at. 
and the last three days I was happily stitching away loving it and then I discovered when I was trying to start the purple flowers here that I was three stitches too close to uh, this motif so this entire flower that is full of one and two stitches here and there color changes uh, it all needs to be ripped out so this oh, entire brother. that entire flower is three stitches too close to this motif uh, now you would have thought that I would have noticed that a little sooner but I did not because I was so happy and all the color changes were making me happy I wasn't annoyed by you know two little stitches here two little stitches. I was I was having such a good time <laughs> and no it's all wrong and I oh, have man. to and it's 40 count linen and because of the way I stitch I I sew my ends in to start and to finish and not just sew them in but I do a little Bargello extra I do the extra Bargello tuck when I sew them in oh my so ripping this out is impossible like I can't unstitch it that's the back so you can see it makes a nice neat tidy back but on 40 count with so many color changes the only way to remove this is going to be very carefully with a seam ripper good times and I, I'll not I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit mad at it it's my own fault uh, but all that and I mean it's so beautiful it is. It's and gorgeous. I have to take it all out and restitch it and so even this little bar coming yeah, down is wrong that's oh, how I went off the rails yeah. the I took you can see how it's all attached at the top this vine along the top right and then it comes down and then you stitch the flower attached to that vine that comes down I figured out that I counted from the middle of this um, downwards vine here and I should have started my counting from the end of <laughs> anyways it doesn't really matter but that's how the mistake happened and I'm three stitches I, I, I didn't take my border three stitches further than it should have been and that's how it happened that and it's sucks. a big mistake yeah and I, I literally couldn't believe it because I looked at it and I thought why isn't that working and I thought oh no oh no oh no <laughs> oh dear and then it dawns on you right the realization yeah. that you're going to have to not just like take out a few stitches but actually take the seam ripper to it yeah and of course on 40 count that's a that's a dicey prospect so It'll be okay. I put it away. I put it away. Yeah. And in the past, when I make a mistake like that, my usual way of coping with it is to start something new. <laughs> <laughs> because you... it makes me feel better. And did you do that? Well, the problem is that I'd already started two new things last weekend. Uh, okay. So instead of starting a third new project, I pulled out a project that I would love to see finished this year and I set myself a goal. Okay. So this is Hibernation Day by Heartstring Samplery, which if you've been here for a while, you know I've been working on it for a while. And there's from the bottom up. Oh boy. I'd shown you this. all this already, but what is new is oh. I stitched wow, an there's... entire row of snowflakes so those are all new and that's some tricky business yeah so all of these that's snowflakes it's just a little bit more yeah. so the shadows not there oh that's better on. yeah thank you all the snowflakes are brand new wow i know the you can see it better in different lighting and i know my i could have made my white a slightly brighter white the this is a lighter dye lot of panettone and the reason I chose this was because I wanted to make sure that this floss pack would look good on any any cut mm -hmm. of panettone that you would get. And I really like it. And when you catch it in certain lights, you see wow. the texture of the snowflakes, which I love. Yeah. And so there you can see close up. So I amazing. I did that and it made me feel better. Yeah. And I didn't start a third new thing. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Just a second, where are you on this chart now? You must be getting very close. No, because oh. believe it or not, um, my fabric is cut to size and I have a three inch border at the top. Oh, so, so that's but a bit the, of the really heavy um, stitching were the houses, the house, and that's done. Yeah. There are some reindeer okay, here. Fun. There are a couple of deer. There, there's a fair bit of stitching in that. But the rest of it is just like borders, little borders and words, which are really yeah. fast. So, Love stitching words. Yeah. Isn't it good? It's very good. I really like it. Yeah. So I'm sorry, your goal is to get this finished by the end of the year? No, you didn't say that? Okay. I, I did, just made that up. I did say that. Oh, you that. did say that. I thought okay. you were making fun of oh, me. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> I thought I heard that, but. So you think you're gonna finish that, do <laughs> you? Oh, it's possible. You can do it. It is possible. Will I do it? Let's I don't see. know. I mean, there's literally only five, six weeks left of the year. That, that's when you true. put it that way, which this is slightly is terrifying, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, Vlogmas is starting soon. And mm -hmm. of course, I've got the daily stitch along for the holiday countdown. Right. That's not going to get finished this year. But wouldn't it be nice? I've already put the date on for last year. Well, so. While you're ripping out your yeah. or, uh, buckleberry. <laughs> oh, buckleberry, you did me dirty. <laughs> Confetti Kluba. <laughs> it was my own fault for counting, not counting properly, but you know. Oh, it happens. Yeah. Counting is hard. Counting is hard. So what have you got? What have you been working on? Um, well, I'll tell you what I didn't bring. I started my started back at my full coverage, my Santa Claus in the, oh, in did the winter. You? Santa Claus in the snow. Yeah. Um, and it's a hot mess right now. So I went to take it off of this the floor frame today yeah. this morning to bring, and it's like I can't take this because I have a lot of my threads are in those keepers, those pop. Oh pop yes. Keepers. Yeah. A lot of them are not. So uh. last night I gridded up my. Um, gridded up a fair area that I'm working on because I think I'm gonna try what Shiloh's been doing and she's doing like extreme cross-country uh, to use an entire length of thread yes and the thread management is just getting a little bit much okay so um, I thought okay so my goal is to all of my extra threads that are hanging out I'm gonna my goal is to get all of those yeah they like get them stitched in yeah that's so a good goal. Maybe in two weeks you I'll just bring have to that. make sure you count correctly. Right. But you've got it gridded, so that's a big goal. I did. I just yeah. used like one strand of floss and counted and recounted and because I find that I get kind of lost in my square. Mm, yeah. Like even when I'm just working ten by ten, I still get lost where I'm going. So um I think maybe gridding might be the way to go. Can you send me a picture of that chart? Yeah. And then I can yeah, put yeah. it in and I can okay. show, I'll show them what you're talking about. Yeah. So I did that. And then before my cat sitting week, um, you had the, in off the grid, you had the finish up. Yeah. So I ended up getting a page finish on <gasps> oh. my Mary Queen of Scots. So this is Mary Queen of Scots by Papillon. And, oops, that's very, very close. Um, so that's an entire page now. Wow. Well, I think the page starts up here, but so I've got a page finished there. Yay. Oh, good for you. Mm hmm. So this is Fallu Red. Fallu Red on, uh, porcelain. porcelain? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm quite pleased with this, um, but that's going to go away for a while because now I'm into Christmas stitching. Isn't the Christmas stitching fun? I love Christmas yeah. stitching. Yeah. Anything holiday, snow, yeah, cozy. It's awesome. Well, that's beautiful. Congratulations Thanks. on your page finish. Thank you. Um, so I had two new starts. Nice. The first one was um, I picked a small one and I picked a big one because I'd finished the sampler, mm -hmm. uh, Ellen sampler, and I was in sampler mode. Yeah. And so this, this is a sampler that I have had on my wish list to start oh, yeah. for a long time. When I saw uh, Carmen's finish, mm -hmm. I just, I fell in love with this chart. Yeah. And, you know, 
It's a Jacob. So this is in the Garden of Holland, uh, a Dutch sampler, 1857. And it is so fun. I mean, look at those trees. Yeah. And those houses, right? Yeah, I they're love really nice. them. Yeah. It just, and Carmen's finish was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. Beautiful. Now, her color palette was a little different yeah. because I am doing the... Uh, um, Hannah did a conversion of the DMC floss list, and so that's what I'm using to stitch it with. I mean, look at this. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Right? The golds and the pinks. Mm -hmm. These pinks are just really good. Yeah. Caramel, nice. creme brulee. Um, Tuesday in there is the, is the sort of uh, bright, bright pink. And so I, um, John and I went away last weekend. We had a little getaway weekend, just the two of us. And uh, I started two new things. There you go. So here's my little start. Forgive my, my threads hanging, hanging off. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so That's pretty good. that is the width of it, of the entire border. Uh, and then I did start, I couldn't resist putting some color in there. So you can see I'm starting to put the extra little, uh, you know, uh, crosses and flowers in there. And that is the, that's, that's it for the border. The entire border is the entire circumference of the piece just with that. So it's not, it's not a really, um, difficult border. No. And it's actually quite a lot of fun to stitch. Not a huge amount of color changes. No. But the way that you stitch, it's still a lot of work. But I am actually, so I'll show you my back. What I'm doing is I'm just loading the needle mm -hmm. and then I'm stitching those and then I'm tacking down my thread oh, under okay. a few stitches and then doing the next ones, tacking the thread down, doing those. Okay. So I am carrying the thread. But hiding it. That's the back. There would be no hiding if I did it. But I... <laughs> But I am, I don't like to have loose hanging threads in the back more than two or three stitches. Mm -hmm. So I am tacking it down. So you can see there. Nice. And until I run out of floss. So that way it makes it really, really fun. Mm -hmm. So the That's linen awesome. is a 40 count speculos or speculos or speculus. And uh, Hannah's uh, Roxy Flosco floss nice. conversion. Well done, Hannah. Yeah. So I do love that speculas linen. It's beautiful. I'd really like to see a side by side of yours and Carmen's. Yeah. Just for comparison's sake. When they're done. Yeah. Which might be in five years. <laughs> so, but well, that's fine. Uh, my second new start, I chose something small. Another design that I have wanted. I actually brought this second one. I brought this into the shop eight, ten months ago because I, I love it. It's small. It's, it's so sweet. I love the colors in it. And I mean, who doesn't love stitching a bird? This is Busy Hands by Kathy Barrick. <sighs> yeah. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's really sweet. There's the chart. And now the bird looks a little funny because <laughs> I haven't finished the lighter color yet, but that's how, that's what I did. Cute. Yeah. So again, uh, 32 count Panettone linen uh, with again Hannah's Roxy Flosco conversion, and you can see from the original, the letters in the original are a little bit more of a sort of carbony gray color, and we've changed that up so that they're more like a gray green. So that is mm. dark sage. Yeah that we've put in there, that she's chosen in there, and I love it. That border is gonna be awesome, right? Fun, fun. Yeah, look at, look at this border. Mm -hmm. Look at it. I know. Look at it, Look it. at it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it good? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fun. So, I mean, it's, it's small, right? This will mm -hmm. not, I will finish this in not too much time. So yeah, that's what I've been working on. Cool. Yeah, it's been a decent, other than the gigantic sad trombone yeah. moment that happened with Buckleberry. Other than that, it's been it's been pretty good. Good. Well, I started 
Uh, I picked up more Christmas stitching that I started last year. Oh, I know what this is. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> check what it says. Oh, where does the project begin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is, way up here. Is that like a, that's a wide cut of a whole yard? Yeah, it is. Carrie. Yeah, I know. Hey. <laughs> Make hay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Lizzie Kate's Jingle Bells series, I think. I think so. And of course I didn't bring the charts. Um, and they all came with like little embellishments yeah. attached to each one. It's yeah. really cute. So I saw um, I saw somewhere where they put it, put it on a banner and scoured the interwebs and found the chart for it. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. And I got... Oh, okay. Um, just a second. I don't want to scratch your phone. It's okay. Here. So... I can hold this. I got... Oh, look at how good it looks. So I did this and this last year while I didn't have a couple of those done. These little borders. Yeah. Um, and then I got that done and started with this one. Oh, I love it. I am going to rip out the cheer. I don't know what I was thinking of. Like I was, I was possessed. I grabbed Pippi to, I've got Lucille. I'm using Lucille almost everywhere. Oh. And then I grabbed Pippi for some reason. Oh. It's like, get it together, Carrie. <laughs> So that has to come out. There will be no floss conversion for this particular um, extravaganza. This is a no. choose your own adventure piece. Also, yeah. the Carrie's linen is a one of a kind. Yeah. Oh, it's so fun. I love yeah, the I like snowman. It. Super cute. Yeah, that is really sweet. Thanks. So I've been working oh, on that. That looks I'm good. I'm just all into the Christmas stitching. I think I'm considering cutting down the linen. <laughs> Yeah, but then you'd have to reattach it to your scroll this rod. This is true. Um, I got asked. I, I I'm I'm very sorry. I haven't um, gone into the comments from the last video that we did two weeks ago. Really, I I do apologize. I know there was a question about our scroll rods. Somebody wanted to know what scroll rods we use. Um, this is the Hearthside Craftworks system. We mm -hmm. both use floor frames. My husband makes them. Um, we sell them through Evertote. So it's Hearthside Craftworks. Those are the scroll rods and yeah. they fit into the Mark II floor frame and the lap stand that we sell. So, yeah. So yeah. that's what you've been stitching. That's what I've been stitching. That's what you've been stitching. And then I'll, yeah, I'll send a picture of the um, Santa Claus. The, the Santa. Snow. I'm really hopeful. Well, obviously I'm not going to finish it this season, but I'd really, in a perfect world, I'd really like to go ham on it and get a chunk of it done. I only well, put in 40... 4,700 stitches last season. That's and still a... I've put maybe another 1,500 in. Yeah, since? Yeah. It's you... 62,000 stitches. Oh. <laughs> yes. uh, so my husband said, so how long would something like Sorry. that... So Mark asked you how long yeah, it was going to take how, you? He said, so how long will something like that take you? So I gave him the numbers and uh, he said, oh, that's... <laughs> if you only do 4,700 stitches <laughs> over the holiday season, that's going to take you like more than 10 years. Like, yes, yes, it will. <laughs> so I better get cracked. Crack and it will in. be glorious when it's done. So keep your opinions to, to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> but it is a lot of fun. I'm hoping it'll go a little bit faster using up those lengths of thread and then less time thread management and more time stitching. Yeah. I'm always. I'm constantly impressed at Shiloh's full coverage stitching. Shiloh's X Stitch yeah. MD on uh, YouTube and Instagram, and because uh, as far as I can yeah. see, she's not using Easy Grid. I know that I she's don't using think so. she's using Even Weave, mm -hmm. but it's not Easy Grid, and she's not marking it out. No, and she's not using a thread to mark it she flies out. by the seat of her pants, that girl. That's a lot of counting. I know. But she's a smart cookie, right? Well, she certainly, the proof is in the pudding, right? Like she, she, she progresses through those things. Yeah, definitely. And really, is somebody going to see an error in it? I know. When you've got 89 colors? No one's ever going to see an no. error. Good point. You do 200 stitches and there's 60 shades of blue. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I think that's the wrong blue. That's the wrong one. <laughs> 9.30 instead of 9.31. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I look forward to seeing it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Next week. I'll bring it next week. You can when send I me a picture of, yeah. Um, do you have a picture of the pattern on your phone? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, was there anything else you wanted to no, show? No, that's all I've been up to. Uh, knitting wise, I've got one orange mitt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I ripped out that sweater again and started again, and I'm right through the body. I'm done oh. the entire body. The third of three sweaters? Or the a third different attempt of uh, the third attempt at of the third sweater of the third. Oh my goodness! So, but I'm done it now. I'm happy with it. I'm right through the body. Um, I just have to bind off and then start the sleeves. Oh wow! So. Well, good. Look at you. I mean, Christmas is coming, right? Yep. So you're gonna, be, you're gonna be ready. I think so. I love. What's that? That meme that you see going around where it's like in at the beginning of November, you say, "I'm gonna make Christmas presents for everyone I love." And then it's just set like the middle of December. I love two people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we have some new releases going in the shop today. Some Fun. Kind of exciting ones. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I know. So good. So, so good. So I'm going to show you two charts first. These are not new releases, but they are new to the Evertote Workshop online shop. And again, once again, are going in the shop because I want to stitch them. <laughs> uh, so I actually brought these charts in at the same time that I brought in Hibernation Day. So finishing up Hibernation Day is kind of my, you know, these are kind of on my periphery, per, per, the periphery of my thinking that I want to finish that because I want to stitch these ones as well. Mm -hmm. These are, I'll show you the oldest one first because this is from 2014. And it's, it must have been the mistletoe. Let That's me, really let me cute. take these because these are actually my copies. So that way I can show you the chart without the glare. So there's the chart, must have been the mistletoe. Here we go. And uh, Beth charted this for Gentle Arts Piney Woods and I am actually going to turn this into a three color stitch with the majority of it being red. So the majority of it's going to be phthalo red and then I'm going to add in green uh, which I'm going to use spinach for the leaves and the vines and then I'm going to do a mix of white flowers uh, so I'm going to use snowy owl for these berries here and then I'm going to do a green vine here and I'm going to do with the other one down here red berries in this one with a green vine there but all of my words and the other border bands are going to be red and so I'm cool. changing it up. That'll be fun. Right? It'll be very Hibernation Day-esque. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so in order for it to be Hibernation Day-esque, I should probably also do it on a 28 count so that they're the same size. And then they would yeah. match. Though the, this would be a lot uh, shorter. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I was thinking I'd do it small. Yeah. I think it'd be cute small. Yeah. Because for only three colors. Yeah. It's so pretty. So that's on my to-do list. And also these charts are going in the shop today. The other one, another one, this one's from 2020? 2021. This is Christmas Bells Sampler. This one right here, which I it's really love, good. love, be love, love. So much fun with all those words. Yeah, I love it. So Hannah is actually, as we speak, downstairs right now doing a vlog conversion <laughs> for me for this. So I know, isn't it good? It is good. I love this. I like it. So those are two new heartstring samplery charts that are going in. Today. Fine. Now, I okay. I have to ask you a question. Yeah. When you do a lot of two over. Yeah. 
Um, how do you, like, do you railroad every stitch? No. You don't, eh? No. Are you constantly dangling your needle to get the twist out sometimes, of it? Sometimes. Sometimes. Because I find it really, I find it a lot. I will, I if it's, if I it's, it if it much. looks definitely twisted, yeah. then I will massage the front of the top leg with my needle. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Especially with white stitches. Yeah. Like those snowflakes that I did, I was doing that a fair bit okay. where I was kind of just poking it with my needle a bit to make it lie, help it lie just a little bit more flat. Okay. But no, I don't railroad. I do find that I watch how the thread is going in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because when you're watch when you, before you put your needle in, mm -hmm. you can tell how the thread is coming up out of yeah, your that's thing. True. That's and true. so you can angle your needle in so that the floss will okay i find that faster than railroading yeah and, and no I one's going to be looking that close at my stitching anyways i find that it if i don't railroad the bottom leg there's really no point in railroading the top leg because it well, doesn't end up lying flat yeah i don't know i've never really had too much of a problem with it mm -hmm. so okay cool i don't I'm know just curious why you're whining at me. This is Luna. She's standing in front of me staring. She's been out. She's totally fine. She's just <laughs> a little out of sorts. I know. <laughs> Anywho, so those are older charts, but new to us. The next two are brand new, mm -hmm. super, super duper new. She wanted a drink. <laughs> if you listen carefully, you can hear the slurping <laughs> coming from the kitchen. <laughs> Uh, we have two really exciting new releases yeah. today. Which one should we start with? I have oh. models in front of me, so why don't yeah. I save those? Okay. I will tell you first. They're both spectacular. Yeah, so. they really are. I <laughs> this has been this has been kind of fun prepping for this. So the very first one that we want to tell you about today is from Pansy Patch, uh, Lori, Lori Pangali, who is a Canadian designer. She lives here in Ontario, where we are. And um, you can follow her. I'll leave all of her information in the drop-down box below. She's got a great Instagram feed. And she's also known for her quilting. Uh, she's, uh, she's just a, she's a pretty talented lady. Mm -hmm. So about a year ago-ish, okay. Lori had an idea um, for a Christmas design and she wanted to use Carrie's floss and linen. So we sent her some supplies and then um, the linen changed because originally it was for peanut brittle. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but peanut brittle is no more. And in fact, she has done this design on Panettone and I think you will agree it is. It's good. So smart. It's mm -hmm. so good. So it is called Santa's Patchwork Cloak, and I'm gonna put in a photo of it right here so you can see what it looks like. Isn't that good? You're just gonna, you, uh, so yeah. pretend you're looking at it, Carrie. Yeah, yeah. I'll show oh, it no, to you, it's... I'll show it to you on my phone. I, I'll leave it up on the screen for yeah. a little while. But uh, yeah, it is just it, so darn good. It is. Yeah. It's really clever. So we are, Evertote is going to be the exclusive carrier of this chart for the next six months. Um, it uses Roxy Flosco floss and linen. Um, Lori has provided a DMC conversion, so we will also be offering just the chart alone if you would like to just purchase the chart. Uh, we will have this fully kitted up for you with linen and floss and chart. Uh, we can definitely do 36 count and 40. No 32 count. We can, Whatever is in the shop, if we have any, uh, you can, if it's still there, you could purchase that separately. All same with 28 count linen. But we are gonna fully kit this with the 36 count and the 40 count because you only need a sixth of a yard of linen. And that is not a standard cut size that we offer um, for our regular linen line. Right. So, so that you can just purchase the size needed for this chart, we're gonna cut those yards down into sixth of yards. Everything's gonna be surged. So it'll be fully kitted, ready to go. That's uh, so nice. Yeah, I, right? I have a, I have something to tell you. I hate kidding stuff up. Oh, do you really? <laughs> I really do. Oh, and it's the I love, I love kidding stuff being up. spoon fed. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, Harry, if you would like to stitch Santa's patchwork quilt, I will spoon feed you. I will hand it to you. I'm so bad. I don't know That's what it is. That's not bad. That's not bad. Just, I think because um, I deal with it every day. Yeah. It's like, oh. <laughs> Just hand it to me. Really? And See, it, yeah. I love kidding stuff up. For me, that's just part of the fun. But for this project, because it requires that sixth of a yard, then you won't have excess linen. And I think this is going to be popular because, I mean, look at it. It's fantastic. Yeah. So 36 count and 40 count. Now, that's also an important note. We are only kidding this with floss enough for one over two for 36 count and 40. If you are a two over two stitcher on 36 count linen, you will need to order more floss as well. Um, Fallow Red and Snowy Owl. You'll need, an, you'll need one extra skein of Snowy Owl and you'll need three extra skeins of Fallow Red. So um, for the two mm. over two stitchers, we're just gonna have a floss pack available. And if you decide you would like to order linen, if there's any Panettone in the regular section, then you just need a quarter of a yard. But the 36 count and the 40, we're just gonna fully kit that up. And those will be in the shop available as of 5 p.m. today. Oh, excellent. Yeah. That's so, awesome. Isn't it good? Yeah. Like, I, I Open really want to tab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. So, I better hurry up and finish something else. Okay, okay. New release number two. We were actually mm -hmm. not going to release this until Saturday. Oh. Because um, this, is an, this is a new release from Ellen, Maximum Cross Stitch. And I'm actually going to see Ellen on Saturday. Oh, nice. Yeah. The Crash Test Dummies, Ellen is uh, a member of the band, Crash Test Dummies, and they are playing in Burlington, Ontario. Oh, excellent. On Saturday night at the Performing Arts Center. Oh, that'll be good. And I'm That's going. That's venue. Yeah. So I'm Good. going to see Ellen on Saturday night. And so we were going to time the release of this project for that, for Saturday, because we were going to be together and yada, yada, yada. But then because um, we were going to release Lori's chart today, instead of having two big releases just a couple of days apart, and I know um, some people will love both projects, instead of having to place two orders, maybe um, people would prefer just to do it once. Um, not that, of course, anyone is expected to buy both projects. <laughs> if you fall in now love with them. Now after pay. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this design, just to give you a little backstory on it. Well, for, okay, I'll give you the backstory after I show it to you. I will tell you that this is going to be my January new start. So New Year's Day, this is going to be my new start. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. There it is. That's the chart. So, do you see that purse really there? Fabulous. You can see how it's called Guinness Bouquet? That purse right there is the original design. And it's a little clutch purse that our friend Gwyneth found and purchased and gave to Ellen as a gift. And Ellen reproduced it and then stitched it three times. <laughs> you can see she did this gigantic pillow. So the thing just was super cool. 28 count. Yeah, it was 28. And she stitched this in DMC. There is a DMC floss list uh, in here. So that was a uh, 28 count. I, no, not 28 count. Did she do it like? It was 28 count. It was 28 count. count, but she did it not two over two. She did six over four, right? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was it was like a Miss Patty gigantic pillow chart. So it's huge mungus. And then she stitched it again on a 40 count. Now this is Night Owl. So 28 count Night Owl stitching it with six strands and then 40 count night owl stitching it with one strand. And then she did it again on Panettone. Yeah. So that you could see that on a different linen. Now, um, I, I don't know what I, what I like more. It's because I happen to have the models here. Yep. Are you ready? I'll show you this one first. So this is the Panettone version. I just get all the warm and fuzzies of going to my grandma's house when I see that. 
right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Look at the colors in there. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? I don't know what they are. Do you remember the China, their flower bouquets? Oh, yes. What were those? Porcelain. Were, they what, were, right? Were and the, then it had a were lid. Were Dalton? I think so. No, these were just like actual flower bouquets in short vessels, but they were all all porcelain. Oh, wow. Or China or whatever. Yeah, I think um, I know what you mean. Yeah, I think, oh, I don't know. I need to find a picture, but it totally reminds me of that. And it just, it's all the all the warm feels. Yeah, this is just, so okay. again, this is, uh, I think it's 36 count Panettone. One strand of floss over two. It's incredible. Yeah, look at that shading in there. Really well done. And then, this is good. Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can you, can you even? Because I cannot. Fantastic. This is a box from Michaels. Ellen painted it black. She did this on a 40 count night owl, 40 count. I may have gotten a few texts that she'd regretted her decision, <laughs> but she persevered and it's stunning. Yeah. I mean, really? And then she just finished this on um, some, uh, like a little thin piece of cardboard. Mm -hmm. And then she just glued it to the top of the box. And she also, she did so that, you know, full disclosure, she also painted the inside of the box as well. So it's fully finished. Very simple yeah. way to finish, a, like beautifully finish a piece. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I mean, come on, right? Like this is, this it's is fabulous. next level good. Yeah. I, the Panettone is, is equally as beautiful, but in a different way. This is just yeah. incredible. Yeah, I don't think I can say that I like one more. No, I know. They're, they're both. They are like. I'd be hard pressed to choose what style I'd like to do it in. I know. I'd, yeah. I'd like, I'm jealous that she stitched both. Mm -hmm. But look That's at how really different they look. Exact same design, but to me, they have a totally different feel. Absolutely. This one just looks like velvet. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's really. Oh, good. Ellen. These are so good. She outdid herself. Yeah, she did. So this is this is my January new start. Good times. That'll be awesome. I was gonna do it on 36 count, but I'm doing Eddie and Patsy on 36 count, and mm -hmm. I think I might challenge myself. I don't know. I think maybe I'll do it on Panettone. I don't know. The 40 <laughs> count is just so darn good. Yeah, it really is. Oh, it's just so good. One more, one more peak for the road. <sighs> nice. Yeah. I, uh... So four new things in the shop today. Two of them, very special new releases. A big thank you to Lori Pangali of Pansy Patchwork for working with us and designing such an amazing Santa. Mm -hmm. I really, I can't wait to stitch that. And Ellen, our friend, who um, with every design that she comes out with just knocks our socks off every time. She's got another winner. So um, the Santa's patchwork cloak, I do not have the charts yet. Uh, we are currently prepping floss packs, Carrie's dyeing linen. Um, we hope to start shipping that out by the end of next week. Um, but uh, depending on how popular this is it might take us a little bit of time but obviously we know it's santa so we're going to try and get it out as quickly as possible mm -hmm. but again just just so you know we don't have the charts in stock yet in fact Lori hasn't even printed them yet we know we're a little bit behind here because the holidays are coming so we're going to do our very best to be as quick as we possibly can um with ellen's guinness bouquet uh we have the charts in stock we have some night owl in stock. Uh, it is a rather, now this is the thing, depth of shading, right? Like yeah. you, you can tell that a lot of color went into this. Mm -hmm. It has a matching floss list. The, you know, the thread list is not insubstantial, um, but we are pulling these together now. 
Some of these are flosses that you may already have in your stash. So I will make sure that I post a list. I will post a photo of Ellen's floss list in the listing so that if you're a fan of Roxy Floss and you already have a lot of these in your stash, um, you can no, then just pick idea. and choose from our regular collection the ones that you don't have instead of purchasing the entire pack. Because mm -hmm. especially if you're stitching a small version of this, you won't need more than one skein. So you, it's, it's likely that you already have a lot of these in your stash. So you can see the list there. And I, again, I will take a photo of it and I will post it right in the listing so that you can see it there. So, yeah. Good stuff. I mean, does it get any better? Whew. That's all I, I got. See. That's it. Nice. Well, yeah. that's a fair amount of stuff. Yeah, I know. Lots of stitching, lots of new stuff. Lots of stitching, lots of new stuff. Okay, good. Well, on that note, I better go and see what um, what's going on in my emails. And I need to go and dye you stuff. You have to go and dye <laughs> some stuff. So we'll say goodbye. Yeah. Everybody take care. Happy weekend. Happy Thanksgiving um, to our American oh, yeah. friends today. Hope that you're enjoying your day with family, yeah. uh, friends, or however you choose to celebrate. And we will see you in two weeks. We will see you in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Next week for me, it's the beginning of the holiday countdown daily Flossmas Vlogmas videos that I'm going to be uh, hosting over on my other YouTube channel, which is Off The Grid Needle Arts. Wow. I'm so excited. Yeah. I can't believe it's upon us. I know. Yeah. I mean, how did this happen, right? <laughs> the whole year is just gone, but it's been so good. Okay. Okay, everyone. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye. Happy stitching. So she texted me the next day because I'd sent her a picture of it and she said, did I forget to put the word stitch? What? It's a design for counted cross. Oh. So she wants me to take a crayon and in big, huge letters write the oh, word stitch right goodness. there. <laughs> <laughs>